Ben's all over on this. Superintendent Darren Filkey, officer in charge of the traffic services branch of the SAPOL. Today we're here to launch a new road safety campaign regarding the use of seatbelts. We know that seatbelts don't cause collisions or cause crashes, but what we do know is the use of a seatbelt will double your chances of survival. In the last 50 years, the mandatory wearing of seatbelts has been in South Australia and it has saved countless lives. But unfortunately, we still see people losing their lives and getting serious injuries from not wearing seatbelts. Between 2018 and 2022, 17, 70 people have lost their life through not wearing a seatbelt. And over 150 people have received serious injuries from not wearing a seatbelt. Last year, one of the worst years we've had on our roads in terms of lives lost and serious injuries, 12 people lost their lives for not wearing a seatbelt. It's frustrating and it's alarming that we still need to continue to educate people to do something so simple like put on a seatbelt, which will save their lives. This ad, wouldn't it be better to wear a seatbelt? Or wouldn't it hurt not to wear a seatbelt? It's both powerful, it is blunt, it's confronting, and it is going to show the reality of what can happen if you do not wear your seatbelt in a collision, whether that's in the rural area or the metro area. You can be thrown out of your vehicle, you can impact the road, you can be run over by the vehicle that you've been ejected from, you can be thrown around the cabin and you can have impact injuries inside that vehicle which will cause serious injuries or cause you to lose your life. It is a really simple message. We want everybody to wear their seatbelt. Make it as simple and as routine as leaving home, picking up your wallet, picking up your keys and picking up your glasses to leave home. Oh, the commercials have been very powerful and very confronting. It's been a long time since we've done a commercial that is so graphic and is so powerful in terms of trying to get the message across. We know that from some of the research that we've done that people really want to know what the impact of these collisions actually are and what the reality is. So we expect that these uh, commercials, whether they be on radio, whether they be on television, billboards, bus shelters, etc., be a very powerful message to people their seatbelt on and to remind them to do so. The other important part about this is that we're trying to get the message across to people who are actually driving around and may not be wearing their seatbelt and they'll see these ads on the back of buses and on bus shelters and on billboards and it might just trigger them to go, I need to put my seatbelt on and save my life. Very much so. It's a it's not only drivers who don't wear their seatbelts and are, and are injured and killed, it's also passengers. So it is a reminder to other people in the, in the vehicle to tell the driver and the other passengers to put on their, on their seatbelts. It's a really simple, effective and proven means of saving your life and preventing a serious injury. Do you, as a, you might not have a that you're in the how many people picked up um, not enforcement activity all across the South Australian roads and there are unfortunately hundreds of people per year who are picked up not wearing their seatbelt. Some will receive a fine, some will receive some education um, around doing that but unfortunately we run campaigns like this because we are still detecting people not wearing seatbelts. We are uh, still dealing with lives lost and serious injuries on our roads because of no seatbelts. Hence such the powerful campaign that we have. In 1971 uh, is when uh, South Australia made the wearing of seatbelts mandatory, so that's over 50 years ago. So the fact we're still having people um, lose their lives on our roads and uh, getting serious injuries from these particular crashes, it, it is frustrating and it is alarming uh, that we still have to, to push this message out. Fortunately, uh, the wearing of seatbelts since 1971 has saved countless lives, so we know that it works. We know that people uh, uh, will get to their destination safely. We we'll know that family members will arrive uh, to where they're going to see other family members. We know that friends won't die in crashes if they're wearing their seatbelts. So it's, it's a really simple message.
just on another topic, first responders last night that was attacking Chef and Maya what happened. Uh, so, uh, it's been reported in the media this morning, as you know, that uh, the Metropolitan Fire Service attended at a job in Taparoo, where uh, they clearly there was a, a, a fire, they responded to that, they were confronted by two occupants um, of that premises um, for whatever reason. Um, I don't know why they did the fire, the fire is there just to do their job, um, and they were assaulted in the course of, of doing their, their duty, uh, which no emergency services worker, Metropolitan Fire Service, SA Ambulance, SA Police, SES, any uh, emergency service worker should not have to put up with behaviour like that when all they're doing is their job and responding uh, to a call for assistance made by a member of the public. Um, it's abhorrent, to be frank, that uh, the fireys in this particular incident could not go about their business and do what they need to do uh, without two people deciding that it was a good idea to assault them and make their job more difficult. So the police uh, did respond clearly uh, in relation to, to the incident um, and arrived while the, the fires were still there. Um, two people were arrested um, and charged with offences uh, relating to assaulting emergency services workers. Um, they were taken to Port Adelaide Police Station, charged and bailed, uh, and they'll appear in court in March. I don't have any details on uh, the damage or the nature of the assault. Suffice to say uh, that the injuries were minor. Nobody was treated uh, at hospital, either the fire, the fire is or, or police. Um, so minor in nature, but it shouldn't matter uh, whether the injuries are minor or major or the damage is significant or not. The fact that that even happened is just, uh, just not acceptable. Was the injuries involved? Not that I'm aware of. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Can you just tell me maybe the right difference between say an accident and the injuries for someone who's going to seatbelt protected and who isn't wearing a seatbelt and who happens to front in are the injured for the emergency services people who have to. Yeah. So seatbelts obviously restrain you in the cabin of the vehicle. So if you're uh, involved in a, a collision or a crash that involves a rollover, for example, or you hit a object um, at speed, if you don't have a seat belt, you can be ejected from the vehicle. That will mean that you will make impact with the roadway. That may mean you make impact with another fixed object on the side of the road. It may mean in the in the sense of a rollover that the vehicle you've been travelling in actually lands on top of you and causes you uh, to lose your life or, or obtain a serious injury. You can also be thrown about, you may not be ejected from the vehicle, but you can also be thrown about the cabin where you're uh, body and predominantly your head can impact uh, within the cabin of the vehicle, the roof, uh, the windshield of the vehicle and cause significant injuries or cause you to lose your life. So the mere fact that you're unrestrained driving a vehicle um, predominantly at speed um, and that comes to a sudden stop, uh, it, you will bounce around the cabin of that vehicle or be ejected and you'll have serious injuries as a result. Yeah, we'd prefer emergency service workers never to have to attend a vehicle crash. That'd be that'd be the optimum. It's it's our job, but it's not a part of our job that we love doing. Um, we, like I said, we prefer not to, to go at all. It is it's confronting for the police that arrive. It's confronting for the MFS members that arrive. It's confronting uh, for the ambulance service that arrives, and so it flows through uh, the whole health system. So just remember uh, when you are driving your vehicle, make the simple choice to put your seatbelt on. It will save your life, it will save your passenger's life, but it will also reduce the amount of um, sort of secondary trauma, I suppose, that can happen by emergency services uh, personnel having to attend these collisions. Um,